everybody, welcome back to Northern Lampley's Kerbal Space Program. I'm just gonna open the episode by saying I have no backlog. Oh, thank you for the subscription. <laughs> Perfect timing, Mulan80. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah, I have zero backlog right now, which is awesome, because it means I can actually implement tips quickly, and I just watched a 60-second tutorial on maneuver nodes from Tito. Thank you very much for that. It was explained in a very, um... What's, what's the word I'm looking for? It was explained in very plain English, no fluff. You know, most YouTube tutorials, I'm not insulting anybody here. Certainly, I'm, I'm not saying like, like Quill does this. But, you know, you ever Google like a tech problem you have and then there's a YouTube tutorial? It's like, it's your boy, tech bro. Just a quick 60 second tutorial on how to solve this problem in Kerbal Space Program. And then you like mouse over the video player and it's 21 minutes long. Step one, you gotta buy a computer, dude. And you're like, oh, skip, skip, skip. Anyway, you get the idea. So thank you for that and thank you for your support on the series as I continue to grow and learn. Um, we are still trying to land on the surface of the moon and then survive once we get there. Uh, and, and maybe make it back as well, but it, it's, you know, it, it took 11 Apollos to land on the moon. It wasn't just Apollo Creed, there were various other Apollos. Apollo... I can't think of any other Apollos. Except the, you know, Greek god. Um, just recover this vessel, please. Isn't... Or is this one on the surface of the moon right now? Is that the problem? I don't know. Load it up. Um, so this is what we launched with last time, and it was able to land... But there's a couple of things that people have suggested for me um, that I think I'm going to actually take the, uh, under advisement for once. So I'm going to remove these knowing that we want trilateral symmetry on them. Do we still? Yeah, we still have the coupler there. Okay, so one of the things that was suggested, and this was suggested by Quill, was um, that we make our final stage a little bit... Uh, basically wider. And I understand where you're coming from there, because a wider base makes it easier for us to land. So he suggested going for like a, a little bit of a reminiscent of a phallic structure um, with the you know the bottom of the phallus attached. But in traditional Northern Lion fashion, I'm gonna go for some trilateral symmetry here. This also has the added benefit of of giving us some extra fuel. And I think he had these a little lower like like around here and then the idea was you would attach your landing gear which are actually landing struts um we, we could probably do like so and then i almost think even like some more like that Obviously, it looks a little ridiculous, but if it gets the job done, who cares? But we have the, the problem now of trying to figure out how the heck we're going to attach um, these. And now that I think about it, it actually seems like the best way to would just be to like refactor the whole system here. So um, what I'm going to do is attach them like this for now, remove the aerodynamic nose cones, and then take them all off, grab a stack decoupler, yeah, get rid of the radial decoupler and toss this on like so. And this is this is not right. We want to, and we ran into this problem last time. We want to put it like there. We want to put it like here. There's a way that we had these lined up that was not this hideous previously. Because this is obviously, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to zoom out here. This is obviously not right. You know, it's like it looks like a freaking fidget spinner or something. So. No, that, this is fine. You want to take this, you want to attach just in a way that they're actually lined up here. If you'll excuse me, if you'll excuse me, please. Um, yeah, yeah, sort of like this. And then we're going to save this real quick. But we're also going to remove this landing gear because we know we're not going to need it. And um, I just want to, this is a very important situation to make sure everything understands what it's doing. We have 12 solid fuel boosters that'll fire at the same time as these. That's correct. Then these decouplers will go. Then those three engines will go. Then these three decouplers will go. And this engine will fire. And we'll still have the fuel tanks attached. And then we can put the landing gear. Okay, so this is the moon lander test 05. 
The, we have another, we, we got a couple of things to work on here. I think we are getting better. First off, landing gear up, please. Full throttle. All right, looks, oh, our fins are so bad. How did I not, <laughs> we're like a, like an arrow or something. Anyway, just go straight up. And what is this strut? Are you seeing what I'm seeing here? This one strut is just uh, dangling in space. At least the fins on the back look okay. It's a little little bright. So we're just going straight up um, for convenience's sake for now. Um, so in terms of like improving our piloting, I believe this took us to like 100 and something thousand. It might be less now because we've got more fuel tanks. At 100 and something thousand. Um, Oh, uh, so just cut the throttle. We don't need it anymore. And we're, we're basically going to warp to apoapsis once we get into a better situation here. But, um, yeah, this is where the fins are a little funky, but that's fine. So the one thing we want to do better, uh, in particular, is using our maneuver node to get to the moon on one of the first passes. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to demonstrate to you, uh, teachers, that I've hopefully watched the... Maneuver node tutorial and understand how to use it properly here. We might, you know, run into a little bit of trouble the first time we try to use it, but, uh, we, you know, as long as the lesson's learned, I think we're going to pick up on it. Essentially, it has an algorithm. You know, you get into orbit, um, create a maneuver node anywhere, drag the prograde marker until you create an intersection with the orbit of the moon, and then move um, the positional marker in order to uh, cause that intersection to happen on the first attempt. Correct me if I'm wrong there. Then, the the real question, and this is something that's been a problem for several episodes now, is landing... Oh, by the way, I forgot to put a ladder <laughs> on this thing, but that's... If it works, we'll figure it out next time. Um, let's just warp me to, like, here, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then burn, baby. Um... Landing on the moon with zero horizontal velocity is the next step. We've come close. But it can't be like... Well, it, it, I'm stealing this from Tito again, but can't be a little horizontal velocity. It has to be zero or at least infinitesimal, I imagine. Okay, so like... I'm not trying to convince you to subscribe on Twitch by having that subscriber notification up. I can disable it, actually. Just because the subscriber stream poll came out, and I actually... There's a website called Stream Poll that allows you to gate um, polls to be subscriber only, instead of just giving straw poll links and hoping nobody gives them out. So I, I guess it's, uh, I mean, good for me. It's encouraging numbers, but it, it kind of looks a little scummy that I've got the overlay up there. So yeah, I, I've taken that off now. So we probably, uh, I mean, not probably. We definitely did not do the most fuel-efficient orbit ever here. Uh, we slowly getting this thing around. I mean, it's a big, big blue marble, you know. It takes a little while for us to make this happen. Periapsis, sure, that that seems fine. So now we're gonna just click. Uh, I believe you click on the moon, set as target, and then you click like anywhere on here. Add maneuver. Okay. So then you get six of these. You pull on the prograde marker. Until it... Oh, that was, he did say slowly. And this is way too fast. Until it intersects. There you go. And then we want to move this, the central one, until it intersects. We need to pull on that prograde marker a little bit more, I think. Yeah, okay, good good work, team. That looks fine. And then we're just going to set this maneuver node. No, 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 not that. You're fine. Just a little, little tough to click on this thing in the center here. There you go. Okay, dude. Maneuver nodes. Okay, that is the moon. Because I, I, I'm like, this is a purple planet. It looks like Minmus. So now I think we can actually just well let's let's be smart here F5 and and enter a, a quick save, 
Um, and then we so we we want to burn on blue at five minutes is it this blue i think it's this or i don't know because the dark blue is it's got like a little arrow there that's like hey burn here um we want to burn in five minutes and 33 seconds and then the burn is 23 seconds long so if i remember correctly you want to burn 23 seconds before, or sorry, you want to burn half of the burn length before the maneuver. So we want to burn for roughly 23 seconds, starting about 11 and a half seconds before. Um, 11 and a half seconds, sorry, before uh, the node time. So we have five minutes to set this up. Does this seem right? We're definitely pointing like like this is pointing at the planet. So this should degrade our orbit. Um, I'm actually just going to I'm just gonna pause quickly. And I'm gonna go like just look up a nav ball tutorial so I don't mess this up completely. Navball tutorial KSP, and we're just gonna, like, I want to just see what the maneuver marker is. Because there's probably, like, maneuver and anti-maneuver or something. The maneuver, if a maneuver is placed on the map, the blue maneuver po marker points in the direction needed for the burn. It's the only marker without an opposite pair, but it does have an arrow pointing at it if the marker is not visible. Okay. Um, so, th it's the one that looks like three T's emanating out from a single origin point in the center. So, is that what we're on right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So. I think you just stay pointed at this. And if this works, I'll, I'm going to be the world's happiest man. But stay pointed at this. And don't go to times 50 time. But, like, you could probably do times 10 time. And we want to take it down to about... Um, well, until it's 11 seconds from the burn, and then we just want to burn along this marker, I think. So we'll try to stop near, like, 30 seconds or so in quick save, just so we have a good marker there for us. And, you know, that roughly worked. So we'll quick save. And then we want to just hit full throttle uh, for the burn with about 12 to 11 seconds left until the burn. Until the, the burn's supposed to start. So, like, now seems like the right time. And we're supposed to burn... Well, I guess we just wait till the est estimated burn is done. Seems sensible. The, the burn is much longer now because our engine is uh, worse, I suppose. That makes sense. And I'll just keep us pointed... ...directly... ...at the marker here. It does seem like it's gonna work. And we are still making an approach with the moon. So, good stuff. 44 more seconds of of burn, roughly. Thank you for the tutorial. Tito could not have done this without you. Or at least would have struggled more. I feel like, um, and this is a little bit of a weird time for me to get on a soapbox because I've maintained willfully, well, I've maintained being willfully ignorant. Real human tutorialization is so valuable. Again, it sounds like I'm taking shots at Quill. Not even close. Like, the fact that he's making tutorials even slightly geared towards me is amazing. And he, he explains it in a very, like, plain text, plain English sort of way. Um, but that one-minute tutorial was, like, extremely valuable for me. I mean, just... Okay, we've burned too much, I suppose. Um, and a, a lot of the other stuff that I get is, like, you idiot. You have to wait until you get to the periapsis node and then pull out the arm. And then, you know, it's, like, it's, it's too many steps to the algorithm. This one-minute explanation... You know, like the how to use a maneuver node for dummies was extremely valuable. So, again, thank you. Okay, so we're at zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're at zero. Okay, so the next the next part is landing. So, at the very least, I would say that we, like, cannot auto-warp so far. At the very least, I would say we, uh, we accomplished something very useful. 
in this episode by demonstrating that we know how to use maneuver nodes. Now... It's up to us to do well with that knowledge. So we want to burn on the retrograde marker now. We should clear that earlier maneuver, I suppose. Um, we want to burn on the retrograde marker. Until our periapsis decays into the orbit of the moon. I don't know what the purple line indicates still. We have more fuel than it looks because of the fact that we have three fuel tanks strapped up. I mean, at, le at least I think there's three fuel tanks strapped up here instead of just the previous one. So even though it, it looks like it's taking us... It, it looks like we're not being very efficient right now. I think it's working, although you may also be extremely right. It may not be efficient at all. So let's just uh, stop it like right there. That seems okay. We'll do a quick save because now we know we're on a collision course with the moon. And I'm going to coffee up just like a real NASA scientist would do probably. Probably not. Those smarmy geniuses are probably like, I only drink quinoa shakes because I actually care about my existence and preserving my good brain. You know what, buddy? I miss the scientists from the 1960s who drank whiskey at 9 a.m. and smoked cigarettes, blew the smoke in their kids' faces. That's not true. I don't miss that. Mostly because I wasn't alive. But also, that's not necessarily admirable, although, obviously, the greatest generation. Now! Where's this? Get, get out of here, maneuver node. Get deleted, son. You're confusing me. We know we're gonna land. Uh, so, we, or we, know, we know we're gonna collide right now. So, I think we just pretty much drastically speed up time. Um, we're still 1.8 million meters above the surface. So, we got plenty of time here. That's 1 million. Start to slow time down here. Just get another quick save going on. Uh, still, what's how long till collision? 13 minutes. 13 minutes real time. So I'd even go to speed 50 for a second here. Another piece of advice that has been uh, given to me kind of over and over is stop using like full burn and then not full burn, like ZX, ZX. It's a, it's a bad play because it leads... We want to do it like this. The further away we are from the retrograde node, the more I imagine it pushes it in this direction. Um, at least when we're getting close to landing, it's just like, it's too much impulse, essentially. So our change in momentum is, is too much, and we, uh, we find ourselves running into trouble. Which I think is fair. For right now, we have to, um, because we've still got horizontal momentum that we, we don't want to have at all. We're getting there, though. This is all, like, this is intuition. And I'm not bragging about it. I'm just saying, like, it might be slightly suboptimal, but I'm, like, amazed that... If, if nothing else in this series, you gotta respect that your boy NL figured out you have to have the retrograde marker on top of the nav ball to have zero horizontal movement speed. Or horizontal velocity, rather. That's, like, my crowning achievement for me, personally. All right, let's take another quick save. And uh, really, as we get closer to landing here, I, I'm just mostly hoping that I picked a good spot. Uh, and, and we're going to use fuel as, as required. Slow ourselves down just a little bit. And also, you know, keep that nav ball positioned exactly where we want it. This is where it would be nice to have, like, a, um, a, a level 1 pilot or level 2 pilot so we could just tell them to stick to the retrograde marker. But as long as we only make minor adjustments, I think we should be able to stay relatively safe here. So, um, we're... Our descent is, is rapidly approaching here. I 
think we're a little off. Let's go check. Yeah, like, literally not by much at all, but enough to be mildly worrisome, I suppose. Okay. Better? Just need to get straight up here. And we are, again, we're descending quickly, so... I can tell we're not exactly center on this retrograde marker, by the way. Just kind of hoping that it's inconsequential, even though that's a bad play. Let's save here. So this would, at this point, be like absolutely the, um, the best landing we've had. And I, I'm fairly comfortable with the way this looks right now. You know, we're slowing our descent. Um, in fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to minimize our fuel use as we start to land here. Well, we're starting to... No, 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 no. We're still... First off, you need to obviously go back in this direction. Ten thousand meters. All about minimizing that horizontal velocity. Ideally, minimizing it to zero. This thing's not as stable as I'd like it to be, admittedly. And we're still, you know, descending. Probably using a little bit too much fuel, but... I'm going to say that that's okay. We're going to cut the throttle even more so that we start... I mean, I don't really want to descend faster, but... I think we can afford to. And how's how's this looking? It's, it's actually... I don't even want to say pretty much dead center. I want to say that that is... By eyeballing it, that's dead center. You know, this is not like something that's $108. And I say, oh, it's approximately 100 bucks. This is like, I said it's a hundred bucks, and with tax it came to like a hundred dollars and four cents. This is like on point right now. So we're descending quickly again, so let's slow that up. Again, trying to stay like zero horizontal velocity. Hopefully our landing gear is relatively stable. As we begin touching down here. Because if this works, then we can... I, I believe we can add more fuel tanks without adding more engines, fly better, and we could get here and back again. That's right. Exactly like the original title of The Hobbit. I think this is a great time for a save. Trying to keep the nav ball pointed like exactly center. This to me looks like zero horizontal velocity. The only thing that makes me say not zero is because I want to be exact. So it's probably not literally zero. Good work. I think this is gonna be okay. Not a good time. I'll turn off sticky keys. Oh my god! You don't even realize? Go to the ease of use. Yes, turn on sticky keys never, please. Done. Apply. Oh my god, what an episode. Always scan this section. Excuse me? <laughs> I was in the accessibility menu in Windows 10. Dude! Might as well be landing on the moon. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 That was great. I mean, that was... It was 25 minutes of, like, no failure. 
So let's get some science. I'm going to be, like, straight up with you. We're not going to make it back. I think. Um, but how do you make it back? You take off. You point east. Get into orbit. Burn along the program. I guess we could set another maneuver node. I'm just telling you, like, the, the terrier is not going to have enough fuel here. Unless... Let me look at these fuel tanks. No, they, they were totally working with us here. I know fuel is heavy, but they also helped stabilize the lander. So I'm very happy with that. Um, closed doors here. And, uh... Can we revert flight? We can revert flight. Because we've never had to use a, a, a save to load. So we'll try to take off. I'm assuming this is probably going to be like the productive end of this episode. It was a very successful launch, maneuver, etc, etc. I mean, we've, we've only been going for 24 hours here. And we're already on the moon safely. Which is very amazing to me. Um, what we will do is revert the flight after this. And then save um, if we're unable to make it back to the surface of Kerbin, which I imagine is what's going to happen. But anyway, we're going to go for a full takeoff here. We're going to pivot east. Which is 90 degrees on the nav ball, I think. We're going to try to put ourselves in an orbit. I mean, it, it's just quite clearly not going to work. <laughs> also don't know what if we want a, a moon orbit that's uh, approximately 9,000 meters. That seems a little light, but... Uh, either way, dude, actually extremely successful mission. And uh, I couldn't have done it without you. I mean, it's not successful because our astronaut is going to die in space. But apart from that, successful mission. And I'm a happy boy. Well, we actually totally did hit orbit. <laughs> More or less, at least. Um... Let's see if we have any chance of this. Like, set... Kerbin? Excuse me? Yeah, no, no, no. Cur can I not set Kerbin as a target? Maybe you can't set Kerbin as a target? Okay, well, what we would do is... We would, you know, click here and set a maneuver node. In theory. And then we would pull out the... Prograde marker until we... Again, I don't know what our purple line is. It's our Kerbin apoapsis. Wait, are you telling me... That in theory, if I like burn, burn where? Burn in 29 minutes for 21 seconds. I don't think we have 21 seconds of burn left. But this is like a, oh, so you're saying there's a chance sort of moment. Um, can I just warp to next maneuver? Again, I'm giving this a very, very low... I, I shouldn't have used so much thrust on takeoff. We might have actually been able to make it back. But I, again, that's like... That's Kerbin talking. Okay, and then burn. Well, burn in... With 21... Well, burn with 10 seconds remaining, I suppose. Maybe we'll get extremely lucky. It was, I botched the burn a little bit. Where are we going now? <laughs> All right, I, to me, it looks like we're launching into outer space. No, no, no. That's, I just want you to set our rocket as the target, please. That's, that's fine. Don't even worry about it. Yeah, yeah. Focus view up here. And then we got, you know, this thing. No, okay. That's, so I'm pretty sure we're just going to... Fly off into outer space now? Never to return? Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no? Okay, now we're in an apoapsis around Kerbin. Even though I'm focusing on the wrong part. Oh, dude. Dude, okay, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. First off, there, there has to be a hotkey or something for focusing on yourself instead of focusing on... Uh... Oh, there we go. Instead of focusing on Kerbin, right? Or is focusing on the moon, because it seems very silly. Um, I have now, I'm now orbiting the sun, so, I mean, I have become a planet now. So, obviously, she's going to die. I mean, every, every 
millisecond that passes is a new day. But still, like a very slight bit more fuel, and I think we can totally do that. Or just being smarter with our flying, I think we can do that just fine. So let's recover, revert flight to vehicle assembly. We'll put a ladder on this thing. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.